Hello guys, this is Deepak Chatterjee, your guide for today's session. Uh, our today's session will be uh, on how to install firewall in the server. So uh, I hope uh, previous session was good uh, for all of you. And if you have any query, please do comment in our video so that we can uh, clarify your uh, all the queries when uh, it is possible. And if you are uh, missing our uh, our videos, please uh, go to our this uh, playlist where we have uh, uploaded two videos so far. And uh, this is uh, on that where we have discussed on how to install PHP packages in the Windows uh, local machine or any kind of machine. And also we have discussed about how to install that PHP packages in the server that is called a LAMP stack server. Okay. So today, uh, so basically last in last session, what we have seen that we have installed a server there we have installed some uh, lamp stack packages also and we have seen that yes everything is working fine we have uh, cross check also and we have uh, told you that how to uninstall the lamp stack server right so now our today's uh, objective is how to install uh, a firewall in that particular server so so let us as uh, let us discuss for why the firewall is required so basically firewall is this two type of firewalls are there in the it uh, uh, IT domain. One is a hardware firewall. One is the software firewall. So basically, today we are going to discuss about software firewall, not the hardware firewall. Software firewall means we can install that firewall in our system. And why we are gonna install it? Because uh, by default, when you are installing a server uh, in our uh, BPS uh, BPS server or any kind of shared server, wherever it is, where we have a full control there there what happened by default from the system all the ports are open all the ports okay so basically if all the ports are open for a particular server so obviously there will be a lot of uh, opening uh, available for the hackers for uh, who can hack your uh, servers who can delete lot of things who can uh, do lot of harmful thing to your server or to your application so to prevent those kind of uh, problems uh, we are trying to installing the firewall. So this is the objective of today's session. I think everything is clear. Okay. So uh, for this, you know, we need to have. So basically, you can understand now we are dealing with the server. So definitely, we need to have a server first. Like that will be our pre -definer. So basically, what is the requirement? Requirement for that. So requirement will be basically simple. It is. So let us write it down here as. Uh, so previously so first one will be the requirement so what is the requirement for this uh, installation okay so first is first obviously will be the server you need to have a server which is running in the internet right so for that i uh, was uh, telling you that please uh, go to this link to if you don't have any server if you have already server you just log into the server okay and who are new that how to install the server how to uh, handle uh, lamp star packages please go to our uh, playlist and here you can find the find the video how to install it okay so for your reference i'm already uh, keeping all the links in the notes so that after this video you can have all the uh, necessary notes in one section and you can do whatever you want to do okay so let's uh, follow or let's uh, do our today's objective first so first of all, like so basically, and so as per our first requirement, then we need to have a server, and also we need to have an understanding that how to install the LAMP stack packages in the server. So because in the particular server, we need to open those things, right? So now, so already I have uh, told you the how to install uh, the WinSCP. Uh, that also you can have, uh, you can uh, see in our last session that how to install WinSCP, how to install Putty. So those also will be coming under uh coming under requirement so so it will be like winscp winscp it will be uh putty already i have described uh, how to install how to handle them in the last videos okay so this is the youtube uh, playlist i'm writing it like that so that it will be uh, good to understand so so let me tell here to keep it above a little bit that will be better for 
So let's uh, write it down here. Requirement. Okay. So basically, so to install firewall, or you can say to initiate the installation of the firewall, you need to have this kind of stuff. So unless until you, need, you are having understanding or you are uh, using this uh, softwares or handling the lambda packages, you cannot install the server. Uh, install the firewall, right? Now, so already you have, and I think uh, if you gone through these things, you will be having understanding that how to handle this can these four things. Okay. Now let us go to the server. So I have already uh, logged in in the WinSCP. So I need to go to our putty. Okay. So need to go to the putty. So I'm just logging in the putty. Okay. So I'm already logged in. So you can see uh, the IP. So IP is like hostname minus I. That is the IP. If you go to that, okay, then you can see here. So you can see this is running, right? So basically by default, what happened? By default, so for this understanding, you need to know what are the default ports available for a web application or what are the what are the required ports for a web application to run the web application. So basically, if it is a HTTP port, it is 80. If it is a, so let us, so what are the, so now you need to understand first thing. Second thing is you need to understand what, uh, what is required, what ports are required. So required port, let us uh, write it like required ports. So first is HTTP. So if you are opening your OI application through HTTP port, it should be by default HTTP uh, and by default is 80. And if you are opening it uh, through HTTPS, then it will be like 443. That is the default port. Okay. And for uh, in the last session, also I told you that you are opening in a uh, shell tunnel, right? This one is a shell, uh, shell CLI. Uh, this is a console. You can see console. Uh, console where you are writing your all the commands and this is the specific port from a specific port this running that is called as a shell ssh ssh port okay that is by default is 22 so if you are doing the ssh you need to have a uh, ssh uh, activate for a particular server like you need to connect your server from a putty from winscp you need to open your port that is 22 okay that is necessary otherwise you cannot access your server or you cannot write or you can run your commands uh, from the putty or from WinSCP, right so this is the thing and next uh, what can happen your application can send a mail or can send a uh, uh, send email whatever it is so that's why required smtp ports okay so for smtp ports there are two uh, the three kinds of ports are the one is the default localhost post that is 25 one is uh ssl that is 465 one is tls that is 587 so it is depends on your requirement that uh which mail services you are using are if you are using uh, your linux machine mail services then it can be 25 if you are using gmail or other third party vendor mail services then it can be ssl or tls Okay, TLS protocol. So in the SMTP, those are the default uh, port numbers. And other than that, so we are uh, for this objective, we are we will go to only these ports so that it will be easy for you to understand if you are understanding these ports and how to install them, how to configure them, how to delete them, how to add them, how to activate them, how to inactivate them, whatever it is, or all the operations we are going to follow with this with these ports. Okay. So once you understand that, then you can obviously, if you know that, yes, I need the port 8080. So obviously you need to open the port 8080 for the public. So, and one thing that this firewall means you are opening a port for the public network, not for the internal network. Okay. For the internal network, all the ports are available because it is inside the room. So obviously all the ports are by default available. So for the public, it is required a firewall basically that is our main agenda or objective here right so let us uh, go there to install so basically what happened so uh, number six what is required the module module is we are called as ufw okay so for the uh, since we are using here ubuntu machine so 
for Ubuntu is the base file is, is UFW. So what is UFW? Let's let us go to the Google and let's see what is UFW. Okay. So let's just start for UFW. You can see UFW is uncomplicated firewall. Why it's uncomplicated? Because it's very simple to use, to install, to handle. It's very, 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 very uh, easy to use. Okay. That's why it is called as uncomplicated. It's not complicated. It is not complicated to use it. Okay. So uh, once I start it, you can easily understand how it is. Okay. So now, so since uh, I, we are not using any firewall, it is opening by default, it is opening all the all the ports, right? So, and you can see it is uh, it is running from where? If I copy this thing, so you can see it will be pasted as a, let's say, it is pasted as a HTTP, right? Is pasted as a HTTP. You can see. So that's why this protocol is using HTTP, and by default, HTTP is which uh, port? It is uh, is port is, is 80, right? So it is using the port 80. Okay. So now, now we need to install the. Uh, we need to install our. So let us restart it because its system got timeout. Let me log in again. Okay, I logged in. So let me clear also. Okay. So to install, so basically we need to install is EFW, right? So, <coughs> sorry, how to install EFW? So it will be app get install EFW. So don't, uh, don't worry, I will give you the command also to install. So it is saying that, uh, that, uh, that it's not available here, right? The package EFW has no installation candidate. So now basically what is that? So before installing EFW, you need to update your uh, package here, like Ubuntu package, you need to upgrade also, right? So that will be apt-get, update, apt-get minus y, update. So it will update all the packages there, okay? Whatever available, the uh, existing uh, updated packages are available for the Ubuntu, it will update. So after that, you just install like this. App get install EFW. You can see like now it is uh, installing, right? Because it needs to update your EFW packages in the list. So let's just wait for some time. And after some time, it will say it is done. Okay. So meanwhile, uh, let us write the command over so what there, what we are uh, doing it. So first step will be like, what is the first step? First step will be, you need to update the, update the OS, okay? And what is the command for that? The command for that will be, apt get, apt get minus Y update. That was the command, okay? So after that, what we need to do, we need to type apt get install uww. Okay. If you do two things, then it will be installed just like that. Okay. Now it's done. So so it is installed and done. So now how to see that it is already installed. So it will uww status. If you see uww status, it is showing as a uwfw uh, status. After that, it is showing a status is inactive. So we need to activate it, right? So next command will be like, we need to see that UFW What will you say? It will say that it is installed. If the command is available, that means it is installed. So obviously that we have already checked that is it is installed because it is say, uh, saying some messages and also that it is showing some messages. Okay, that what it is, what is the status? Is it in, in, uh, inactivated or activated? Okay. So now we just need to do EFW enabled. Okay. If you do EFW enable, you can see it is showing as a command may disrupt existing SSH connection process with the operation. So you need to do yes. If you do yes, then it's okay. So, so now if you do EFW status, you can see it is saying status is activated. Okay. So already it is activated now, but the thing is like, there is no protocol, uh, protocol already added, protocol or uh, protocol means there is nothing but a rule. There is no port is enabled. Okay. That's why it is showing only active, nothing else. But the problem is that please uh, remember 
in this case if you close this session what will happen you will lose your sss connection then you need to con uh, contact your service provider again so don't do that whenever you are installing please keep in mind that you need to add at least efw allow ssh please do this one first always efw allow ssh what it will do it will add your ssh ports whichever required in the efw EFW protocols or EFW rules. Okay, so how to see EFW status? If you do EFW status, you can see, see this 22 is added, 22 is added. What is uh, already told you that we are adding SSH for 22 port only, right? So that is only you can see already it is 22. Now the thing is like it is uh, added for V4 and also V6 by default. Okay, before it is, and this is a V6, it is also uh, uh, shown here v6 right so now we need to add like different like ufw http sorry uh ufw allow http ufw allow https ufw allow smtp okay now it's a ufw status if I say status, you can see all the ports are added. So, so what I told you that it is by default, it is taking for 80. So definitely if I uh, delete that port 80, it should not open this thing, right? So uh, for that, you need to do EFW status number. Okay. So why, why number is required? Because if we want to delete some rule, we need to know that what is the index of that particular rule okay so that's why so that's why you need to do EFW status number so you can see all the rules are having some indexes right now we need to do EFW delete we need to delete the 80 right because you can we can see that it is already running from the port 80 it is running but if we delete that rule number 80 so it should not run from this port okay so let's delete it so you can see the uh, indices are nine and four. So if uh, I will suggest, please do it like from the highest number to lowest, because if you delete the lowest first, then highest will become my uh, highest minus one also, right? So like it will be uh, better do it from highest to lowest. So it will be like you have w delete number port nine, sorry, not port nine. It will the port index will be nine, so it is done. It will ask that proceed with operations yes or no. Yes, obviously, because we want to delete like that, right? If will delete after that, it will be four again, four. So, again, it will ask delete. Okay, now if we uh refresh this, it should not run. Okay, so let's open it from a different window because here it will not show anything. So, just open it. You can see it is just. Uh, loading 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 okay so it will not open because all the ports of 80 is blocked now so as per the EFW status you can see EFW status you can see is nothing is open okay so no port it is there so it's not opening right so again if we want to add it EFW allow 80 not 80 sorry it will be HTTP because by default for HTTP so it will automatically add both the things so it HTTP so you can see added and it is an opening okay so that's a simple answer so basically whenever you want to delete some rule delete it whenever you want to add some rule add it so it will what is the advantage of this one is the advantage of this one is like uh, it will be open only those ports which is you only required and also it is you only having the control over there no port will be open uh unless you know it okay so that is the object i think uh, it is pretty much clear for you to how to handle uh, firewalls uh, like that. So, so let us recap again. So basically for that, what you need first, you need to have a server for that. If you don't have any server, please go to this link and uh, buy a server from that. It is very cheap, like 500 uh, monthly. It is very uh, good to learn. And uh, this is the YouTube playlist where you can understand that how to install the servers because that is a prerequisite for this. Okay. 
and after that you need to have some unsp putty those are also available in these videos if you uh, can see those videos that how to handle unsp and putty both are available because both are required you can see that both are required here okay because we need to log into the server we need to write the commands we need to uh, handle those comments okay so now uh, what are the uh, ports we have handled uh, in this session that those are http https that 80 and 443 ssh 22 and SMTP 25, 465, 587, those we have added, okay? And we have uh, understood that how to uh, delete it, how delete it, how to add it. So add will be allowed. Uh, and for this, how to do this one? Like we need to update the OS by the command of this one. We need to install, install the EFW package by this one. We need to check the status of installation, checking, Status of installation that is by EFW status, it will say active or inactive, like that, or it will say active or inactive, and also EFW commands are available or not. Now, uh, adding the rule, adding the rule will be how narrator will be like EFW allow HTTP. Let it make it small letter, okay? HTTP, then EFW allow. HTTPS, then we have added EFW. Sorry. EFW allow SMTP. And what we told? Now, first we need to add EFW SSH. EFW allow SSH. Because that is very much crucial. Because by chance, any uh, your session is. Uh, crashed or session is time out then you will lose your server access again there will a lot of hectic process will be happen like you need to contact your service provider to uh undone your those uh installation so it may be they will charge you extra so uh to stop those harassment please allow this one first SSH, then http then this one then smtp and then the existing uh, another one like efw allow as per the discussion efw allow 465 which is ssl uh, protocol for smtp efw allow 587 which is a tls tls protocol for smtp so and after that how to delete it deleting the rule okay so basically what how to delete it delete the rule i said you two commands you need to run first command is efw status numbered what, what it will show? It will show you like uh, which rule is having which index. Based on that, you need to delete those. Okay. Now, if say let's say that is index five, in whichever that uh, rule you want to delete, then it, the command will be EFW delete five. Okay. Understood. I think there will be no uh, confusion regarding this. Right? So that's all uh, for this uh, session. I hope you guys understood properly. And you, if you have any query, please comment us here so that we can uh, clarify your all the queries and please uh, do like share and subscribe the channel for being updated see you in next session bye